The next ayah says, Thumma radadnahu asfada safilin. Then we lowered him. We rejected him and lowered him to the lowest of the low. فَذَهَبَ قَسَمُ مِنَ الْمُفَسِّرِينَ إِنَّا أَنَّ الْمَقْصُودِ بِهِ أَرْضَلُ الْعُمْرِ There is a group of Mufassirun that said that the meaning of being reduced to the lowest of the low is being, reaching the oldest age, reaching old, old age. In other words, in old age, some even explained this. They said, you know, in old age, an animal is still good for work. An old donkey, you can still put stuff on it. Until he dies, you can work it. But a man, when he gets old, he becomes useless. And he's a burden on people around him. And he can't even take care of himself. Animals can do that till the day they die. Right? So he's, animals are low, he's even lower than that. So that's how they explain it. But if you look at the context, other Mufassir was commented, if you look at the context of the surah, the context of the surah is not the physical creation of the human being. It's the moral. It's the ethical. Ethic, the soul is what made him so high, right? So it doesn't make sense to mention the low and weakness of the body. What is the weakness now? Spiritual weakness, ethical, moral weakness that's being talked about. And this lowest of the low is very, very powerful language. Let's take it bit by bit. The first word is thumma. Actually, we'll come to thumma at the end. We'll start with radadna first. In Arabic, radadna can be translated to return, to reject, to lower. Somebody gave you something, you didn't accept it. Okay? We rejected him and lowered it. That's the idea. Okay? Now, in Arabic, to reject can also be aqdama. To change something completely could be sarafa to turn something away, walla to turn one's face, lafata to tilt slightly towards something. Many different words for turning. This one word, what does it mean? Arad. It means to reject something based on the fact that it's unacceptable. That's what rad means. Radadna means Allah rejected the human being because he himself became unacceptable. He did something unacceptable. Allah created him in the best possible fashion. And then he did something that made him basically lose that license. And as a result, Allah rejected him. And once he rejected him, where did he end up? Radadnahu asfal asafilin. Now asfal means the lowest, right? Now this word is used in Arabic in an interesting way. Asifla is used for low or wretched people, dirty people, nasty people, people you don't want to associate with. You know, I don't mean lower class economically, but I mean lower class socially. Like morally, these are not the kind of people, the riffraff, you don't want to be around them. Their language, their demeanor, their morals, you don't want to be around them. This is a sufla in Arabic. Allah says He reduced him to the lowest of the low. Safin, by the way, this is aswa, the lowest. Safin means something that is low on the basis of its status, its position, its dignity. It's, low, it's meant to be lower and inferior. It's meant to be lower and inferior. Now, we know that Allah created the human being above everything else. So much so that even angels had to do such that. Allah Himself says, After He says, we honored the son of Adam, He said, we, we gave him, uh, or we gave him power over the land and in the sea. He says, everything on the earth was created for you. Everything on the earth was created for you. Mafid of the jami'an. Everything, whatever's on the earth, all together, was made for you. So who's higher on the earth? The human being. And everything else is lower than him. The cat, the dog, the car, the building, everything is beneath us. Everything is at our service on this earth. So these things are low and we are what? High. Now Allah says we made him, because of his unacceptable behavior, we made him what? The lowest of the low. So the human being became even lower than the things that he was designed, higher than. Now how does this work? We were supposed to worship Allah. When somebody gets rejected, what do they worship? Other than Allah. They worship a tree, they worship the sun, they worship a rock, whatever they worship. Aren't those things lower than themselves? They become, they bring themselves lower than something that is meant to be low. They become asfal asafilin in their behaviors. Allah. They lower themselves before that which is inherently low. That's how they reduce themselves. Another meaning of asfal asafilin that's very powerful is that animals, and we talked about how you know, modern thought has made, reduced human beings to animals. I wish that much was true. It's gone even worse. It's gone even worse. Animal, when does an animal strike? When does an animal attack? If it's scared, if it's hungry, right? You know, I was watching a documentary. These sharks, they feed them. They feed them, feed them, they're full. Then you can swim next to them. They won't bite you. Why? Because they're full. But this human being, when he gets really low, 
then even animals don't strike when their stomach is full. But the human being will continue to rob and continue to steal and continue to kill. The animal will stop attacking when the danger is over. But this human being will continue to attack and continue to kill. And the, animal, the animals will not ever do things that the human beings, will, you will see them do. You will see them kill children. You will see them engage in genocide. You will see them engage in horrific, horrific acts that you can never imagine even out of an animal. You cannot imagine those things out of an animal. So if the animals are low, what does the human being now become? The lowest of the low. The lowest of the low. Then Allah, some of us said, no, this is actually talking about the hellfire. That if Allah had honored the human being, and he still wasn't able to live up to this, this honor that Allah gave him, that he should be reduced to the lowest pits of the hellfire, like Allah says about the hypocrites, may Allah not make us from them, إِنَّ الْمُنَافِقِينَ فِي الدَّرْكِ الْأَسْفَلِ Same word, فِي الدَّرْكِ الْأَسْفَلِ مِنَ النَّارِ No doubt the hypocrites will be in the lowest pit of the hellfire. Then Allah Azza wa Jalla, by the way in Quran, this being even worse than animals occurs in Surah Al-A'raf. أُولَٰئِكَ كَالْأَنْعَامُ وَلَهُمْ أَضَلْ They're like cattle, they're even worse than cattle. They're not even, even animals are better than them. So, ثُمَّ رَدَدْنَاهُ أَسْفَلَ سَلَمْ These are very powerful, powerful statements, subhanAllah, in the Qur'an. But then the last thing I want to share with you in this context, in, in, in regards to this, ثُمَّ رَدَدْنَاهُ أَسْفَلَ سَافِلِينَ How do we reconcile this with other ayat in the Qur'an? On the one hand, we, you know, Allah says, we created the human being in the best possible fashion. Then He says, the human being was created weak. The human being was created with an urge to rush. The human being is full of despair, hadu'a, right? All these problems of human beings, weakness, he's flawed in so many ways. And on the other hand, he's such a great creation, how can he be both at the same time? How many components of the human being? Two? When they are in balance, he's the best possible creation. When you deny one of them, what happens? The weakness. The weakness arises, the desperation arises, the despair comes out. All the flaws of the human being manifest when this ahsan taqweem in which Allah created you, you stop losing sight of it. You don't address that need of the human being. That's when all these problems occur, subhanAllah. Now we get to the conclusion of the surah. إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ فَلَهُمْ أَجْرٌ